All right, guys, back now, Backstage Live, the CBS Early Show on Saturday, joined by the Indigo Girls, Amy and Emily. Now, we've been getting tons of questions since the people found out you guys were going to be on the show today. Mm. The chat room was open last night, and we've just got so many questions to ask you guys. But before we get to some of our questions from our viewers, I want to talk about this holiday album. Um, it's the first time you guys have released something like this, right? So what made you want to do it? What made you want to do it now? We both kind of decided at the same time. I mean, we could have done one over through all the years we've, we've worked together, but we just both got excited about the thought. We both wanted to go and work with Peter Collins, mm -hmm. who's produced some of our earlier records, and we wanted to go to Nashville, and we wanted to make it a bluegrass vibey thing, so all the elements we were completely in agreement about, so it was the right time, and so we did it. You just said, what better time, what better time than now. Now, I know that there are nine sort of classic songs, right, and three originals. So what's your favorite, what's your favorite song on the album? Oh, God, who knows yet, uh, right? Because when we make one, it's hard to tell what's... Well, the song, the song we're doing today, um, Shelley Wright wrote, mm -hmm. it's called It Really Is a Wonderful Life. And for me, I, that might be my favorite song. It, it's just really classic song uh, you know like she's a contemporary writer that it, and, but has written sort of a timeless Christmas song right. so so we're talking about uh, country singer songwriter Shelley Wright how did she get involved uh, with this project we went through a bunch of holiday music our manager has gazillion CDs mm -hmm. so he gave them to me and to Amy and we were listening through and um, Shelley's song it was recorded by Mindy Smith and Shelley's song was in that compilation that stack and we both loved it. We both put it on our lists, and then we're like, oh, yeah, we should do this. It's an immediate classic. So we uh, decided to do it. And then we run into Shelly. We have the same management. So we run into her. We become like new friends, and she's awesome, and I love her music. And so we just we just happened to pick her song. We didn't – I mean, if anybody else had written it, we would have picked it too. So it just happens to be a lovely thing that it's Shelly's song. Nice. Now, uh, we're going to see that song a little bit later, so make sure you guys uh, tune in to the early show for that one. Now, aside from the songs on the album, what's your favorite holiday song of all time? And Rick, I'm going to ask you this one too, so get ready. Uh, favorite all time can be Jingle Bells, can be Frosty the Snowman. Mine's the Chipmunk song, you know, <laughs> Christmas, Christmas. That that that's that's my favorite. But um, you know, what is what's your favorite Christmas song of all time? Um, Nat King Cole singing "Oh Holy Night." Oh, very good, very good choice. I think I like "I'll Be Home for Christmas." Another solid classic, Rick. It's a tie between Queens, Thank God It's Christmas, oh. and The Waitresses, that oh. great song. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, yeah. It's Christmas. Yeah. Christmas so yeah. you guys are classic. Rick's a little bit yeah. more quirky Christmas songs, like and yeah. mine is a cartoon Christmas song, The Chipmunks. Oh. Yeah, so, yeah, what does, that, what does that tell you, that I'm a child? Uh, Rick, let's go to some of those questions from the, uh, from the chat room, because I want to make sure we get to them. Okay. Um, will you have a DVD release of any of your concert footage? Oh, well, we have we have a DVD of a whole show that we did at the Roxy with Brandy Carlisle that came out last year. Um, and then as far as the crisp, the holiday shows that we're doing, I don't know what's going to happen with those. We'll probably flip them, you know, with the flip and sure. something. Sure. And record two out of three of them. Yeah. So... Okay. Great. And I know w one of the questions from last night, somebody wanted to know the origin of the name the Indigo Girls, right? Wasn't that yeah. one of the questions? Yeah, yes. I'm sure you guys get asked that often. You know, it's very, uh, it's not that deep. It's, um, we were going to play this really cool show in Atlanta opening for somebody. I can't remember who it was. Uh, Lloyd Cole and the Commotions, maybe. And uh, we needed a name. We were just called Sailors and Ray, and we were like, let's, let's get like a cool name, you know? And I was looking through the dictionary and uh, saw the word indigo, and I was like, I like that. Called Emily, and she was like, indigo girls, alliteration. It. There it was, and it stuck. Yeah. yeah. I mean, be careful when you choose your name, because it's with you. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you're, like, 20 years, 20 old. years old. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Something that you pick when you're 20. Yeah. may not be the best choice later uh, <laughs> later on. But the indigo girls has, it's, you know, it's... It stood the test of time, for sure, it is. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. What other? We also have some other uh, ones. I think some people. Uh, are writing what's in. one thing you are most proud of? Um, it's a tough one. That's a. That's like. I'm most proud of the work that we've done with Honor the Earth. Actually, really proud of that. And tell us. Tell us more about. Tell us more. About. Uh, it's an activist organization. Me and Emily start with uh, 
a bunch of uh, native activists. Mm -hmm. And they're really the leaders of the group and the board's all native. And we fund, along with a lot of other people that are involved, we fund um, frontline native environmental grassroots organizations. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, well, and where can people find out information if they um, want to if they want to get involved? Indigogirls.com. Okay. There's a link. Great, great. Now, what is on? Okay, we got we talked about holiday wish lists earlier. Uh, what, what's on your holiday wish list this 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 year? Oh, it's kind of. Um, <laughs> we should have, we should have you studied that. We uh, like, written some ideas out. There's nothing that I want personally. No kind of wish like that. I I just wish uh, maybe people would listen to each other a little bit more in the political arena and mm. just. Just overall, so maybe some more uh, nonpartisan communication would be a nice wish. Okay, so you're not like wanting an iPad. I already have one. I already have one. Boom, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Anything for you on the holiday wish list? Um. Uh, that donut maker, though. Yeah, the donut yeah. maker. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just thinking about that. I was going to get it for somebody else, but now I'm like, I want it for myself. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. So okay, the, tw the twenty dollar donut maker. Yeah. Now I know there's also some special packaging in this in this album, right? So tell us about where you got that idea and what how it actually comes. Uh, the ha the Holly Happy Days um, CD package was designed by Denise Plum. She lives in L.A. and she's a friend friend of me and Amy's, and she does a lot of our merch design for our T-shirts. And we just kind of gave her um, carte blanche, and she came up with the idea for the packaging. It's sh mm -hmm. it's kind of shaped like a present, and you open it up, and inside there are three. Um, paper Christmas ornaments that you can hang from your tree or hang from wherever you want and they have the lyrics to the three original songs on them so it's a really fun festive a fun package, package. Yeah. yeah awesome and um, you know what's what's next for you guys after this album where, where can we where can we see you next um, well we're doing the Kayamo cruise songwriter cruise in February and we've got some dates in Florida but we're really gonna be writing during the winter um, and making a record in the spring a new indigo record and then I'm gonna be working on a another solo record in the winter as well so yeah and Rick we have more we have more from the from the chat room yeah I mean related to songwriting how long does it take usually to write a song for you for you for me it can take anywhere from an hour to a year honestly some songs just kind of come out all at once I keep a lyric journal all the time and I try to write about five days a week and so sometimes they're quick and sometimes they're crazy slow it's the same thing for me. Sometimes quick, sometimes slow. Okay. So, depends. It depends, yeah, I guess, right? Depends. And what was, what, you know, on, and going along the same lines, what was, you know, one of your, what do you feel is your best written song? Oh, I don't know if I could pick tough. one. I mean, um, uh, well, on the most recent record we did, I f I'm pretty proud of the song Sugar Tongue. Um, on Poseidon, it's off a record called Poseidon the Bitter Bug, because I guess because it's different, it was a differently kind of crafted song for mm -hmm. me, so it's, for me, it's all about like evolving and sort of trying to write better or differently from what you've written before. Okay. Same question, Can, do you have, do you have a favorite? Um, I have a song that I'm very close to called She's Saving Me, it's an older song, but I, I'm happy with the way that one turned out. Okay. All right. What else we got there, Rick, from the chat room? Um, any possibility of a solo album from either one of you? Well, I have. I'm working. I'm working on my fourth. So um, I'm putting my fourth solo record out. I guess next year. It's I do more of a rock uh, punk thing on the side. Oh, wow. Under Amy, just under Amy Ray. So I'm working on my fourth, and Emily's. I talk about it, but who knows? It'd be fun. <laughs> It'd be fun. I just yeah. you know, if it happens, it happens. All right, well, we're going to be checking them out here shortly on the early show. They have two performances with Shelly Wright, uh, country singer-songwriter Shelly Wright. She's going to be upstairs, so check them in out. In 30 Indigo minutes. Girls in 30 minutes. We'll so, um, guys, thank you so much for, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us.